Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Gay Let's Play Mass Effect 3 Citadel DLC. In our last episode, Shepard threw a crazy, crazy party and invited essentially every single squad member and main crew member uh, that he was able to who um, was still around, basically. And um, yeah, lots of hilarity ensued with that. And we are now in the middle of the aftermath still. Um, you know, I think that it was implied that Steve and Shepard ended up ending things on a high note with a party. Which makes me wonder, Yavik, were you, were you there during, were you? I don't even want to know. Hey, Yavik. Oh, is it time to rule the galaxy now? Kneel before Javik. Oh. I had a dream. 50,000 years had passed. It was horrible. I was alone. Primitives had evolved. They ruled the galaxy. Solarians, Turians, and the Asari. Hate to break it to you. Hate to break it to you, but... Sorry, Yavik. Not a dream. I was one. The Ara. She had those eyes. And that voice. And she was... Blue. No, no. It was just a dream. Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm convinced. Yavik totally, totally wants Liara bad. Totally. Oh, I smell primitives. Oh, it was no dream. Sorry. Sorry. I hope you didn't throw up into the hot tub, because that... That would be problematic. Good gosh, Shepard and Steve. You guys cleared through... What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bottles between the two of you? I'm not a I'm not a drinker at all. I'm not a definitely not a heavy drinker. I'll have a drink, but it's I'm not one of those people I'm one of those people who don't particularly care for the taste of alcohol, so um eight bottles of beer, even with between two people, is quite a bit for me. Data pad. Shepard. Hope you're well. <gasps> New mission on Tuchanka could end things. Made preparations. Morning! Asked friends in STG to leave this with you next time you were off duty. Some of my older work. Performances, stories, merely entertainment. But entertainment useful at times. Good luck. Morning! Oh my gosh, where did that come from? Where did where did that data pad come from? In prophase you see chromatins condensed to chromosomes. In metaphase their centromeres align to make new homes. In anaphase, they separate, then telophase arrives, and when cytokinesis comes, two cells lead separate lives. Mm -hmm. Oh, Morden, I miss you so much. This is really sad, listening to his voice. Hello, Perry the Pajak. Happy to be here. Science fun today, very respected. <laughs> Education of youth vital for future. Now, children, science key to advancement, but can seem esoteric, indirect. Practical demonstration helps. Release the Varen. <laughs> Native to Tuchanka. Dangerous predator, but can be incapacitated with common household chemicals. Observe. Wait, please move Perry the Pijack away from Baron. Puppets similar to prey could trigger attack instinct. Ah. Problematic. Oh. Suggest going limp. Struggling counterproductive. Sedative should stop it. Or not. Ah. Not attacking. Mating instinct, of course. Of course. See, children? Key to science is testing hypotheses, making observations. Next hypothesis? Attempt neural shock. Oh no. Ah, neural shock clearly effective. Harry the Pie Jack also clearly made of flammable material. Any questions? Oh. Is Perry the Pie Jack supposed to be a play on Perry the Platypus um, in Phineas and Ferb? Because that's an awesome show. I'm a huge Phineas and Ferb fan and an even larger. Um, Perry the Platypus fan. I remember, um, I believe it was the Shadow Broker. I think it was the Shadow Broker DLC in Mass Effect 2 that mentioned um, 
in Morden's dossier or whatever you want to call it that he um, was actually in a show like he had his own science fun with science show and this is probably a clips of that that's really cool Lysine, veiling, leucine, isoleucine, alanine. they all are aliphatic so you will not see a ring the lone human amino acid with one is proline from protein we oh are gosh. formed with two hydroxyl groups you'll find serene and threonine for sulfur look to cysteine or to methionine <sighs> For bases, you have arginine, lysine, and histidine. From protein, we are formed. Now the aromatics! Tryptophan and tyrosine and phenylalanine. Aspartic and glutamic oh, are both acids, as we've seen. Or am I C asparagine and also glutamine? From protein, we are formed. Oh, thank you, Morden. This is fantastic. Omega. Sky was color of fit cam tuned to a dead fortune. Business so bad that if Volus would have sold my suit. Then trouble Doppler shifted deep Asari blue as it came through my door. Likely Elcor father. High gravity adapted in all right places. Asari said Krogan thug after her business. If could get rid of him, said she'd be grateful for all eternity. Found Krogan in slums. First shot hit primary heart. But Krogan have redundant nervous system. Felt redundant nervous myself. Krogan got me in stranglehold. Used incineration attack. Got lucky. Said this was an easy job, he gasped. Guess we'd both been burned. Yeah. Asari very grateful. Could read her like open book. And as it happened, did enjoy reading. In bed. Woke up looking at Barrel of Pearl handled Carnifex. My M98 in another room. Another Black Widow standing over me. Only loose end left, she said. Oh. Her mistake. Didn't know I'd been in STG. Learn tricks dirty enough to clog a quarry and soup filter. Your barrier is very similar to your morals, I said, and threw my biotic grenade. Warped. When woke up from explosion, Asari had fled back to afterlife. Felt lucky not to be in afterlife myself. Hadn't been paid, but considered self fortunate. Had broken Omega's one rule in more ways than one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was that Arya? Morden and Arya? I was about to say, Morden, you sly dog. You ended up in bed with an Asari, and are you, are you trying to imply that that was Arya? Mind blown. Oh my gosh, my... <laughs> that in and of itself just made Morden even more awesome. Like, I could, every single time that I believe that Morden couldn't possibly get any more awesome. He just completely raises the bar. Oh gosh. Through many dangers, toils, and snares, Aww. I have already come. Aww. His grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home. Maybe next time. Until then, we'll stick to patter songs. Oh, gosh. My favorite thing about Morden is that he starts off as more of a comedy relief kind of character from the way he speaks, his mannerisms, the quirks in his personality. I, as soon as I met Morden, I knew that I was going to adore his character because he was... I, there's just so many things about him all throughout Mass Effect 2 that just made me laugh out loud. Um, and obviously his infamous patter song was certainly probably the what he's the, what he's most known for from Mass Effect 2 in terms of comedy comedy relief. But um, but then I see I already loved him at that point, but then you go into his loyalty mission. And you start seeing a whole other dimension to his character because all of a sudden he starts talking about the genophage and his work with the genophage. And you start getting into, you start focusing more on his, his psyche, the, the, his philosophical musings. 
And I just found that so fascinating. And it really led me to respect him more of a character because he wasn't just there to be funny and amusing. Like, he actually had some very personal... Um, some very personal issues with the genophage. Like, he was... You could tell how conflicted he was. I, I think deep in his heart, he felt bad for what had to be done with the Krogan. But at the time, he just... He truly felt that even though he didn't like what they had to do with the Krogan, um, he... He felt that it was it was necessary. It had for the good of the galaxy. It it had to happen, and he wanted to be the one to do it. He was the one who wanted to take the responsibility of the fate of the Krogan, because as we all know, that Morden always says, "Had to be me. Someone else might have gotten it wrong." Um, which those that line in and of itself pretty much in a nutshell, um, explains what kind of character Morden is. So by the end of at Mass Effect 2, I already considered him my favorite uh, squad member of, of the entire series. And then you go into Mass Effect 3, and when I had thought that Morden couldn't get any more awesome, when I had thought that I could not respect the man, the Solarian, more, the whole time during the Genophage Cure storyline, story arc, um, he just kept getting better and better, culminating to the very end. Uh, ironically, what really made me respect Morden was, ironically, um, if you had chosen to not cure the genophage, which is something that I would never actually do, I don't think I would ever be able to bring myself to do that in an actual playthrough, um, even future playthroughs. However, I did watch what happened if you tried to not cure the genophage, and what Morden does, this, I guess this technically could be considered a spoiler if you guys don't want to know what would have happened if I didn't cure the genophage, but, but, you know, I had seen it, and what he says to Shepard, because, you know, he, he finds out that Shepard is trying to sabotage the genophage, and um, Morden tells Shepard, no, that's not right. We can't do that. We have to end the genophage now. And Shepard says something along the lines of, well, well, weren't you the one six months ago? Weren't you one who said that it was necessary? Who said that we needed to, to do this to the Krogan? And then Morden says, I made a mistake. And I can't even do it just, justice the way I said it. Like, the way the voice actor said the words, I made a mistake was spot on and it just hit me it hit me right here because for morden to be actually for morden to actually be able to say those words like this is a solarian who lived his life trying to not have any regrets he lives his life trying to do what he believed was right with the data that he had before him and Watching him admit that he made a mistake was so powerful. And then, if Shepard insists on sabotaging the sabotaging the genophage, what does Morden do? He stands up to Shepard. He tells Shepard, you got to do what you got to do, but I got to do what I got to do. And I believe in my heart that I have to, I have to cure the genophage. You can stop me if you want, Shepard. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Like, of all of the characters in, in Mass Effect, the Salarian is the one who stands up to Shepard in that way. Um, because Morden knows that he can't win a battle. He can't win a duel against Shepard. He knows that Shepard can easily take him down. But he's he does it anyway. He stands up anyway, knowing that if Shepard doesn't change his mind, Morden will die. Shepard will take him down because that's all. That's what it's going to take to stop Morden from curing the genophage at that point. Somebody has to kill him. So he knows that Shepard could kill him, but he does it anyway. And that, to me, is what 
truly, truly sold me to Morden as a character. And uh, he is he 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 to this day is my favorite squad mate um, in the Mass Effect series by far. Oh, you guys are awake. Hello, you two. Did we uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here. Calibrate it. Oh, Terrace. <laughs> yeah, okay. Maybe I should just stop saying that word. But only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. <laughs> it was, that, was, that was hilarious how he said that. Return to the... I don't want to return to the Normandy yet. Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Liara takes forever to do her uh, hair or whatever I, she calls it. I believe she told... Joker that they were cartilage or something of that nature. Hello, Liara. Was someone making tea? I could use some tea. We could make some tea if you really want to. The apartment seems so quiet now. <sighs> Glyph is so cute with his little bow tie. Oh, Glyph. The apartment seems so quiet now. Yeah. I'm surprised half of my furniture hasn't been taken yet because of Kasumi. That's not Kasumi. Tally! What are you doing over here, Tally? I am going <laughs> to die. Oh gosh, Tally. I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. Oh my gosh. Do I have a tattoo? I remember something about a tattoo. Were you talking with James, Tally? Don't get me wrong. Great party, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll just be here. Right here. Forever. <laughs> oh, poor Tally. Uh. Alright, I'll leave you to it. The bathroom is right over here, Tally. Just, just so you know. Just so you know. Alright. Anderson would have a fit if we caused a little too much of a mess. Oh. Saeeds? What the? Push-ups? And... Oh. Hello, guys. Uh... Jacob? Shepard! I was just going to lift some weights. Wanna join? I guess. I feel fantastic. How about everyone else? Uh... Not so much. 1085. 1086. 1087. <sighs> Come on, Jacob. You are such a show off. Shepard. Jacob. Shepard. Jacob. Oh, look at you, Jack. Hey, you look like shit. Thanks. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. Really? Interesting. Even normal biotics get hangovers, but I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. Interesting. I wonder... huh. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. <laughs> hey. Hey, Jack. Alright. There we go. Kasumi, Kasumi, where are you? Oh. <laughs> Is James making huevos rancheros? Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, James and Ashley. Uh-oh. Hey, girl. So, I see that James is scrambling some eggs there. Was there a little, uh, scrambling with you guys last night as well? You know what I mean? Shepard? Morning. I need a floor to curl up on. <sighs> oh, not... not so loud. Hey. Hey, Ash. Hey. James? What you got here? Okay, who wants eggs? Liara, eggs? Trainer. Esteban, eggs? Joker, where is that guy? That's a good Ash, one. come on, I promised you eggs. Rex, buddy, eggs? Tally? Ah, she'll definitely want eggs. I Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. Anyone else? Garrus, you know my eggs. Oh gosh, yeah. Shepard? Eggs? Sure, why not? Shepard. James. Shepard. James. I think I 
broke my head on something last night. So it's pretty much like every night. Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Good as new. Oh my gosh. Oh, grunt. Shepard. I remember what you were doing last night. Oh. Hey, trainer. Trainer. So, last night, I didn't do anything, did I? Well, it depends on what you mean by do anything. I'm checking extranet sites. No hits yet, so maybe I just imagined that last part. Mm -hmm. I'm almost sure someone was recording us, though. Oh my gosh, trainer. Oh, I should probably talk to Edie. Or alternatively, I should never talk to Edie ever again. Oh gosh. It's not my fault. I was overserved. Hey. 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 Hey, trainer. All right. Where is everybody else? Where's Corte? Oh, there's Steve. Oh gosh, Joker. Joker. Oh my gosh. Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. Oh gosh. So I've managed not to throw up. Feeling pretty good about that. That's pretty cool. Oh, if everyone could just not talk so loudly, that would be great. Or close the cupboards too loud. Or walk too loud. You know, just just think quiet thoughts. Ugh. Still fun, though. Good, because it was your idea to have this party in the first place. Commander. Joker. Commander. Joker. Commander. Uh-huh. Rex? Whatcha, whatcha doing? Been a while since I hit the hard stuff. Wild time. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the next morning. Huh. Uh. Uh. Okay, Rex. I'm done. Hey, Zaid. Shepard. Good to see you up. You too. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. Hmm. By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Oh. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. I love bacon. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? That's very kind of you, Zaid. I love bacon. Shepard. Zaid. Shepard. Zaid. I'll save C for last. Hey, Edie. Some neighbors came by last night to complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. That was a joke, right? Right, Edie? That was a joke. I know, I know. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. I think, I think that uh, James has it covered. Did Kasumi already leave? Kasumi, where are you, Kasumi? Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, Steve Cortez, Steve Cortez. Oh, I would have thought all those tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. What a night. Wish it never ended. Aww. Thanks, Shepard. You're welcome, Steve. Aww. Uh, I love this. I love their romance. Thanks, Shepard. You're welcome, Steve. Okay, so are we done? I don't want to return to Normandy. Um... So if I leave and come back, does it reset the apartment? Am I done with checking? Am I done with looking at the aftermath? Yeah, okay, I don't want to return to the Normandy yet. Because I was told that going back to the Normandy is not something you want to do until you have done everything in the DLC, I heard. Um, Shoutouts to Elizabetta611 and Superwriter for giving me tips on what to do next and who I should talk to and where I should talk to them and that good stuff. Um, and I appreciate that you guys did it without giving away any spoilers, so thank you. So I'm just gonna go back here because I wanted to invite some people over and hang out with them before I go out into the Silver Coast. Yeah. Um, invite up. I really want to see what James wants. So I'll invite James over to the apartment. 
All right. Invite James? Yeah. He said he wanted to show me something. Show me something. I have no idea what it is. Hey, loco. I see you got things cleaned up. I try. Eventually. Yeah, sorry about that. Mm. <laughs> nice view. But this place, it's just so... Not what I'm used to. Really? Which is... I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. Yeah. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. Yeah, I get that. It's tough being away from home. Yeah. Hey, I noticed you and Cortez seem to be close. You making it work? Yeah. <laughs> Best we can under the circumstances. I like to give him a hard time, but he's a great guy. Been through a lot. I'm glad you two found each other. Aww. Me too. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. Oh, whoa. Okay, okay. That's what he would want to show me. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> oh my gosh. As soon as as soon as he said I want to show you something and he took off his shirt, I was like, "Wait, wait. Didn't you just talk about how great it was that Steve that Steven Cortez and I were together and, you know, we were making it work and all that and all of a sudden James starts stripping and <laughs> oh gosh oh my face is so red right now so red I need something to drink <laughs> um I was very pleased by the way that um I think James is the very first person who actually acknowledged my relationship with Steve Cortez that that's one thing that I felt was missing in Mass Effect, that um, that um, they did really well in Dragon Age. Um, was in Dragon Age, your, the other squad members um, in various moments recognized that you were in a relationship with with someone. Whereas in Mass Effect, I think it might have been mentioned once maybe twice but other than that it didn't seem like really anyone cared or really made or really said anything about you know acknowledging your relationship so it was really I, I thought it was great that um, James brought it up and it makes sense too because him and Cortez are such amazing they're just very close friends and um, it's, it felt really good having that acknowledgement come from him and showing that he approves of Shepard because I know that James is the kind of person who is very overprotective of his friends, especially when it comes to relationships. And um, I think that was James's way of telling Shepard that he trusts Shepard and he trusts that Shepard would take care of Cortez. And I think that's very sweet. And James is still very shirtless. <laughs> Very shirtless. Uh. Looks good. You've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. Aww. Aww. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Hasta la vista. Cor not Cortez. James. Catch you later, Shepard. See you later, James. Uh, James, admit it. You just wanted to show off your body again. <laughs> what the hell? No way. Oh, no. Oh. You didn't see this last night? I guess he was too busy staring at... Hey. I remember seeing this when I was here for the party. <laughs> I guess he was too busy staring at, at staring at um, Ashley. Oh man, 
This is sweet. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. Come on, let me just use it for a bit. Yeah, <clears throat> knock yourself out, James. You're already here. You might as well hang out for a little bit. This is high quality stuff. <clears throat> it is. All right, if you say so. Maybe I could, you know, <clears throat> come here for my workouts. <clears throat> What do you think? Sure, but I think Cortez would be really jealous. <laughs> you gonna watch, or you gonna join in? <laughs> the question is, would he be jealous because Shepard was watching James, um, was watching James work out, or would Cortez be jealous because he wasn't able to watch James work out? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> you get to do this all the time. <laughs> Just let me have some fun. <laughs> yeah. You get to do this all the time. <laughs> Just let me have some fun. Oh, uh, okay. Pull up bar. Come on. Come on, chap. Show those bulging biceps. <laughs>